So we're headed towards the West River in Pinto County, where a group of scientists are setting up a silo so that they can add limestone to the river here, which has the goal of both enhancing fish habitat, restoring at rivers uh, that have been affected by acid rain, but also it's a form of climate change mitigation. Scientist Eddie Halfyard says what's happening here on the banks of the West River isn't happening anywhere else in the world. His team is testing out a new technology inside this big green silo. When it's up and running later this summer, it will add limestone to the river to help restore fish habitat and combat climate change. Part of dissolving limestone in rivers, the chemical reaction that happens is it actually sucks carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Um, and, and that process, we've been able to, to show it and prove it, um, that was a breakthrough. But adding limestone to land and water is nothing new in Nova Scotia. The natural material reduces acidity and has been used to help heal rivers suffering the effects of acid rain. Even though acid rain was largely eliminated in the 1990s, water quality in many regions of the province has not improved. And that's had devastating consequences for Atlantic salmon. You think of a fish's gill as being quite a delicate structure, and it can deform those and make it so they just can't get the oxygen that they need. Since 2005, scientists like Halfyard have addressed this by adding powdered limestone, also called alkaline material, to a river on the province's eastern shore. In about five years, they started to see salmon populations improve. Then they discovered another benefit. The same process can also remove carbon from the atmosphere. The aha moment was in 2016. Shannon Sterling from Dalhousie University teamed up with Halfyard and together they founded Carbon Run. This is a, a lucky part of the Earth system is that the pH change needed to restore the salmon, so moving it from 5 to 6.5 or 7, is also the pH change you need to lock in carbon. Here's how the process of removing carbon from rivers works. Rivers already store a significant amount of carbon dioxide. By boosting the pH from acidic to neutral using powdered limestone, rivers can be coaxed into absorbing even more from the atmosphere. That carbon dioxide then shifts into a stable form called bicarbonate, which then gets swept into the ocean where it can stay sequestered for millennia. Although we want to stop putting uh, pollution in the atmosphere as quickly as we can and should be the focus, we've already put too much and it does have to be cleaned. And that's really what carbon dioxide removal is all about. So there's an industry that's going to grow from this. Halfyard and Sterling hope their project will grow too. The silo in Pictou County is just the first of many they plan to place along Nova Scotia rivers. Maura Donovan, CBC News, Pictou County.